gonna show you the hydrangea flower on a cupcake. This is probably one of my favorite ones to do just because it's so easy. Um, what I like to start with is a ruffle leaf, kind of like some of the other flowers I've done. It's a 61, it's kind of like a 104, it's fat on one end, thin on the other with a little bit of a curve to it. That's gonna be my leaf. And then for the flower itself, I use a 2D. And I'm aware that this has six openings and that a hydrangea flower only has four. And I've done a, a number of different ways testing it. I've even gone to the trouble of like modifying this a little bit and closing off two of those pieces so that it does have just four openings. And it really didn't affect the outcome. It looks just as good just with the 2D. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with that. Now, the ruffle on the leaf is really, really easy to do. I just start with my curve up and you can do two or three leaves. We'll go ahead and do three. So I just ruffle, 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 ruffle. And one out here. I really like how the way the leaf pokes out from underneath the flower. So it's important to put this on first rather than trying to add it later. So again, just ruffling out that curve is facing up and then back to the center. And then what I have in here is a light blue and a dark blue. You can do, like this first one I did had a little bit of purple in there. Hydrangeas come in different kind of varieties, anything from white to green to different pinks. So I really like how it looks when it's striped with two tones. So give that a try. So all I'm gonna do is basically just squeeze and stop squeeze and stop. And now I understand that kind of looks like a drop flower right now, but when we go through and fill this up, and you can kind of turn your wrist a little bit and put it at different angles, basically the first round I'm going to just kind of cover the cupcake and get everything that's exposed covered, but it has a little bit more of a palm shape to it, a little bit more rounded, and when you do that a little bit more in the center and filling in little places where you can see through, it kind of makes it look fuller and it's that quick to do. It already looks like a hydrangea flower, and then if you put several side by side and some different different colors in there, it always looks really, really good. So again, it's really fast. It's one of my favorite flowers to do, and I hope you're gonna give it a try. It's really fun.